Today, I'm gonna try to explain the situation with what's the AKC paperwork, the FCI paperwork, which is the one that comes from, usually from Europe. Um, AKC, everybody knows what it is. It's the American Kennel Club. It's what is recognized here in the United States uh, as the, I would call the only real registry, uh, basically. And FCI is what is called Federación Sinologique Internacional. The FCI covers the complete world, except a few countries like United States, England, Canada, I believe. Uh, they have their own registry, but they are co-relent. They, they do work together. What does this mean? That FCI dogs that are registered, that come from Europe, from South America, from any part that it's um, uh, registered under FCI, will be able to convert them into AKC. But there is a procedure. So what's happening? Many people come, they come and they buy their puppies, and I don't have there the AKC paperwork, but I do explain everything to them, and it's on my contract. What it says is that if the mother to this puppy came pregnant from a dog from Germany, this female, which is the mother of the puppies, has to have her DNA done, has to have a foreign registration application, which is an application that we fill out with her FCI information. It is a, what they call an export pedigree. We have to send that with the copy of her export pedigree with our name, her under our name. We also have to send a picture of her front and side and we had to send the DNA first. That's the way we do it. After those, that dog comes, that dog pedigree comes back from AKC, we can then send what is called a special litter registration, which is that the dog that what she was bred to in Germany or wherever in, in South America, any part of Europe, any part of the FCI country we had brought her from, they, I have to send a copy of his pedigree and I have to send an authorization from the country where this female was bred and that she was bred exactly to this male. We don't need the DNA on the male because the DNA, it's already registered in each country from where they are. After that, then it's that we receive the puppies paperwork for AKC. But this can take from six weeks to five months. It happened to me during the COVID situation. I have a East German female that I brought in pregnant and it took me five months until the AKC was able to do everything. I had sent in the DNA, I had sent everything, but it takes a while. It's not the same as when you have two dogs that are already AKC registered. That takes two to three weeks. But as I said before, if the mother comes from an FCI country, we have to transfer. We have to transfer her from FCI to AKC. So reality, she would have double registry. She would have the AKC and she would have the FCI registry as well. And the puppies then would be AKC registered, but it does take a while. And we wanna make this clear that we are always try to explain this to everybody. Everybody has been fine, but we, we have had some questions and I thought it would be very wise to do this video to explain this. Also, it can, as I said, it can take a while, but really and truly, you don't need the AKC papers on your puppy until he's maybe five or six or seven months old when if you wanna enter him in a little trial or in any kind of sport, Meanwhile, we always give copies, the real FCI copies of mother and father so that they know the dogs are registered. And we show that the registration is in process. As well, you can call AKC and ask them what the procedure is. So you can see it can really take a while to get those papers in here. Thank you for your time. I just wanted to explain this. And always we say hello and we are Southern Wind Kennel.